Hey what's up guys, it's Apollo Uchiha here, I'm back with a new short movie, the name of the short movie is What if Naruto was turned into a lady killer by Jiraiya and yeah guys, it's an unscripted movie as well, now before continuing this, I know, I know, I apologize because I'm not making any of your ideas, it's just that currently I'm having my own ideas, so yeah, I'm working on them, I hope you understand and there's a lot going on behind the scenes here as yeah i'm getting used to the new pc it's overwhelming as well as yeah you saw what happened in the last gameplay i'm completely a noob in that one but many of you guys suggested that i should play naruto ultimate ninja storm 2 and luckily i had bought that as well so yeah today i'm playing that game as well so before continuing this if you haven't then please do leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel and without further ado let's begin with our today's story our story begins at the Valley of the End, 13 years after the QB attack, as we see Naruto Uzumaki currently laying down on the puddle of water that was created due to the fight that occurred between him and his previous teammate and crush Satsuki Uchiha, who was standing there, turned around from Naruto as Naruto saw her with blurry vision. Sa Satsuki, John, don't leave. With these words, Naruto passed out as Sasuke turned back with her Sharingan morphing into Mankekyo. As in the water, she saw her reflection. As instead of her, it was Itachi's. You've done well to achieve that power, as I said. <laughs> but you're still weak. As she slammed her foot in that puddle of water. Stop it! Stop playing with my head! As her eyes were bleeding now. As suddenly she saw Kakashi arriving there thanks to her Sharingan and his new ability and then she saw that Naruto's heart was being repaired there was still hope for him to live she just hoped that he would make it and without second thoughts she turned around goodbye Naruto I will come back once my mission is done she dashed away far away from Naruto as now she was out of sight as Naruto laid there damn this brat I told him to wait Shut up, QB. I'm not in the mood. As we go inside Naruto's mind cave to see that Naruto was sitting there, as the QB was stored behind bars and was currently healing Naruto's heart. What do you mean, shut up? I'm here trying to make you survive this fiasco, and you're mopping about that bitch who tried to kill you? She's not a bitch. She's just going through a tough time. Yeah, tell that to her, not to me. You're the one who's injured, and I am here, stuck with you. To keeping both of us barely alive. You're not in the seal, Kurama. You can leave whenever you want. So that's it? You want me to leave, huh? QB said, no. Listen, I need you. You know that. You've been like a brother figure to me since... Yeah, you don't need to say that to me. So shut up and listen to your brother figure. We are going to get through this and then crush and break every bones in her body and bring her back. As you said to her. QB said, it, Is it understood, Naruto? Yes, sir. Good. As QB started to repair Naruto's heart, as Kakashi on the outside world arrived as where Naruto was. As Kakashi, Oh no. Bakun. Kakashi, the scent of both of your students die here. I do not know where the other one went. That doesn't matter. We have to get Naruto back. Pronto. As Kakashi grabbed Naruto. As he dashed back towards Konoha as fast as he could. It took him half an hour to arrive back there, even at Joni level speed. As after he arrived there, he went straight towards the hospital where Sonare was currently coming out of the operation theater in which she was done with Kiba and Akamaru who were badly wounded for fighting the Sound 4. Kakashi, oh my god, Naruto, bring him in. As after Sonare was done, she arrived outside of the operation theater four hours later damn that brat says Tsunade, what do you mean is naruto going to be okay said kakashi as well as sakura who was there and jiraiya yeah naruto is going to be fine thank god sakura said as she was literally near crying but what do you mean by damn that brat then Tsunade? is it something naruto did or is it no it's not their fault I'm cursing that bitch who did this to him. Who? Who did this? Satsuki, who else do you think? Says Tsunade. Calm down, Tsunade-sama. How can I stay calm? 
That bitch literally just slaughtered Naruto. I lost him twice on that table. Twice? Yes. His heart beat stopped Jiraiya for more than 30 seconds. Twice. 30 seconds is enough to presume that one person is dead, and yet he lived. He should be considered lucky, and I should consider removing him from the shinobi ranks. And we should go with the plan B to save him from the Akatsuki. Are you out of your mind, Tsunade? Said Kakashi. What do you mean, Kakashi? Said Tsunade with narrowed eyes as Jiraiya was also taken aback by Kakashi's words. Naruto is not going to sit around and mop like that. He would literally rather die than stay locked up in one prison. I'm not going to lock him up in the prison. He's going to stay in the same thing, Tsunade-sama. Keeping him in the room and behind bars is the same thing. It's not what we're talking about. The hyper, hyper knucklehead ninja of our village. He tried to stop her because you gave him the mission to not hurt Naruto. And that is what we have done. That is what Naruto has done. Trying to not hurt the precious Uchiha of the council. And look where it got us. Many of our Ganins are hurt as well as Naruto is hurt. And are in critical condition still. But Kakashi... She, isn't she your student? Jiraiya said. Why are you saying these words? I'm tired of this bullshit, Jiraiya Sama. The reason Sama kept this a secret. I think it is time that we let everyone know who Naruto is. Kakashi, you're walking on thin ice. That is a secret that only Naruto can reveal. And when we tell him, that is. I know he doesn't know yet, but we have to tell him. Like I have to tell you all a secret that Naruto told me. Once we were returning from the land of waves. Sakura, can you go check on Naruto? Oh, oh, yes, Sensei. As Sakura left, thinking about what they were going to talk about. What? Well, you see, flashback. It was night time and they were one day away from Konoha and had left the land of waves. As we see Kakashi in his tent and some figure was standing outside of his. As Kakashi opened the tent. What did you want, Naruto? Can I talk for a bit? Yeah, come inside. As Naruto went inside Kakashi's tent. What is it you want to talk about? Sensei, uh, how should I say this? But you gotta believe me, okay? Okay, Naruto. Promise you won't get mad, right? No, I won't. Well, you see, um, when I was at the age of three, I was beaten up on my birthday. What? Why didn't you tell me that? Why didn't you tell this to Hokage-sama? I didn't want nobody to find out, okay? I was saved. I was close to, you know, being killed off. Are you out of your mind, Naruto? You could have told us who did this to you. Are they still in the village? No, they're not. You remember the disappearing case of the people? Yeah, they were never found. It was Kyuubi. What? Yeah, Kyuubi protected me. I lost my consciousness and Kyuubi took over. Which means you... Wait, you know about Kyuubi? You made contact with Kyuubi before? Yeah. Well, the point is, as Naruto then grabbed he said, Ah, damn it, I'm talking to him, Kurama. Let me talk. I'll explain him better, as Kakashi was shocked what was happening in front of him, as Naruto's eyes opened and they were red with slits, as his whisker marks were thick. Listen to me well, Kakashi Harake. The reason I'm taking care of Naruto is because Kushina and I were on good terms, but then why did you kill her and my sensei? Is it, is it because you were just betraying them like you were trying to betray Naruto and trick him? No, it was because of that accursed Sharingan of Mother of Jiha. Madara's dead, QB. I'm not walking into your trap. And we're going to get you sealed once we return. Listen to me, Kakashi Harake. Madara is out there. He warned Minato that he will come back before he died. And I was still newly sealed inside Naruto. At the time, I tried to possess Naruto's body so that I could at least attack him. And that is why the whisker marks were there. And that is what you all saw, indicating that... People think that Naruto is you. Yes. I was trying to listen to that man's word. He's still out there. And with him is Zetsu, a plant like figure, half white, half black, who can go anywhere underground. What? Like it can dissolve into ground. He can spy on us, even if we talk as of now. This is serious. Then why are you telling me all this? Because Naruto and I are on good terms. What? We have been keeping up an act. An act of foolishness. I asked Naruto to do that. What do you mean? Naruto is not foolish. He has never been. 
the person you tied down to the post, the person, the very own person that you fought in the training bell test was nothing more than his blood clone. A clone that is so real that not even the Sharingan or Byaku can tell the difference. As Kagashi's eyes widen, yes, he has the Minato's legacy and he is quite smart alongside with Kushina's winter technique and he was able to unlock the seal after I gave him the encyclopedia of the Uzumakis. But how do you have that? I am the guardian of the Uzumakis. They were the closest to Asura, who was considered my brother and the son of the Otsutsuki sage, Hagoromo Otsutsuki. Whoa, that is a lot of information to take in. I know. That is why I'm telling you this. Me and Naruto are like siblings and my only purpose as of now to the day he dies is to protect him and his future generation and family that is what i promised kushina well thank you but yet they died at your hands i couldn't break out of that genjutsu not until i knew what i had done i see so you were in the genjutsu can anyone guess no not anyone only a Mangekyo Sharingan user with experience can. I see. So the Mangekyo Sharingan is dangerous. Yes, it is. That is why I hate the Uchihas. And partially hate your Sharingan as well. Because it is a Mangekyo. If trained properly, you might be able to control up to 7 tails worth of Jinchurikis and Vitus alike. That is quite a dangerous power to hold. And what you said is true then. Yes, the threat is not over. It will come back again like a haunting dream. End of the flashback. As at that night, Kakashi listened and learned many things about QB. One, it was not a ferocious mindless beast as people claimed it to be. Two, it was helping out Naruto and was good terms with his sensei as well as Kushina. And three, Naruto was safe and was a genius and not an idiot. As Jiraiya and Tsunade were shocked as Kakashi revealed this, are you sure that this is what you heard. Yes, I am 100% sure. Naruto is not an idiot. He was keeping up an act. But Kiwi also told me one last thing. He says that the bonds we formed with Naruto and the bonds he has formed with us are all genuine. That is why whenever he talks and says something that lifts our heart, it is from the bottom of it. He really cares about us all. He cares about Sasuke. And he is able to bring her back. He was following your orders. That is what I said. I see. Then I guess it is time for everyone to know. No, Tsunade. Jiraiya said. But why? Both Tsunade and Kakashi asked Jiraiya. He's ready. He has the knowledge. He has QB working alongside him. What more we could ask for? Let me go with him for a three year worth of training trip. After we return, then you can announce who he is. Why, Jiraiya? Oh, um... Well, let's just say I want to see that uh, he's perfectly, you know, capable of controlling and manifesting the power as well as some other stuff. What other stuff? Sonata said, you're not thinking of making him into your ultra-perverted student and pass down your legacy, right? Who, me? Who? Why? No. You, Sonata. I may be a pervert, a super one at that, but I would never do that to Naruto. Really? Seriously, you tried that with Jiraiya, Jiraiya, you tried that with Orochimaru and as well as with Minato and his student Obito. Luckily Kakashi, well, luckily Obito died but Kakashi was able to live and turn into a closet for Tsunade-sama. Um, <laughs> oh, uh, yeah, look at the time, I gotta leave, bye, as Kakashi poofed away. Damn, talk about being a loyal fan, Jiraiya said. As Tsunade connect, cracked her knuckles, tell me the reason. As Jiraiya got serious, want to train him into sage mode. What? Are you out of your mind, Jiraiya? That is a quite dangerous mode. Even you are not able to perfect it. That is why I want him to be successful. I want to see if he has what it takes to be recognized as a genius, as Kakashi said he is to be. Alright, Jiraiya. As Jiraiya then went towards Naruto's room and saw that Naruto and Sakura were talking. Surprise, Sakura. I will bring her back. No worries. I'm not worried about her, you idiot. Look, I'm sorry that I was mean to you, but... But... You baka, you always... Always were saying those embarrassing things in front of everyone. I got embarrassed and did those things. I'm sorry. <laughs> yeah, I get it. 
as in front of Jura, Socrates knew she kissed Nard on the cheek and then on the lips. Uh, just a back before leaving. Oh, uh, sorry, Jura, Sama, as she dashed away with a huge blush on her face. As Naruto was phased out from it. Hey, 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 yeah, kid. Whoa, this is gonna be cold, mine. I should write a story about that. Please don't, Irasanin. Look, kid, I know that you're sad. Yeah, I guess I am. Happy, sad, shocked, I don't know what it means. Listen, kid, you gotta drop the act. What? Kakashi told me. <sighs> I see, so he told you. Yeah. As Naruto said, looking at Jiraiya with cold eyes, what are you going to do, Jiraiya? Are you going to tell the village that I am a, a bear of my tenant? And not only that, we are on good terms. And people might think that I, alongside with Kubino Yoko, are planning its doom and what we get executed or destruction. No, Naruto, why do you think I will do that? Then what is it you want, Godfather? As Jiraiya's eyes what? You. Yeah, I know. I know about everything. They left a part of their souls there. And guess what? Yeah, I wanted answers from you. But I kept that at bay because, well, you and I kind of grew close in our own sorts of way. Even I investigated and found out that you were guilty. Why? I know you were feeling guilt. You could have let out your guilt other way. It was because I was there and raised it, Naruto. I was wasted in the village while my student was fighting for the whole village's sake, and I was sleeping peacefully in a fucking bar. That is why I feel guilt. And when I woke the next day, I fucking heard that my student, his wife, died, leaving behind their son, my godson, who since the thought that I wasn't ready and responsible enough to take care of, and the guilt was eating me up. So I left, left to pursue and enlarged my spy network to protect Konha and you from the enemies of your father and mother. <laughs> See, that is why I forgave you, Arasani. Long time ago. Thanks to you, I was able to meet Bachan. She's kind of a Kajan to me. Unknown to both of them, Sonali heard this from the outside as she smiled as she walked away. As she entered her office to see Sonali. I mean, she's in it. Sonali Sama, did something good happen? Yeah. Yeah, everything's fine today. Bring me the paperwork, Shizune. I have something to take care of. And please bring in some adoption papers as well. Uh, for who? Naruto, of course. Wait, you're... Yes, I am. <laughs> Congratulations, Sonata-sama. Does Naruto know? It's a surprise. Uh, after... Before he leaves, I'm going to surprise him with this. Okay, I guess. As after that, the papers were prepared by... Tsunade and Shizune, as Naruto, who was still bandaged up, arrived with Jiraiya after meeting with his friends and saying his goodbyes. You ready, kid? Yeah, let's go. Listen, Naruto, I know that you're living with Jiraiya. Such Tsunade. Oh, uh, yeah, Bachan, I am. As Tsunade walked off from her desk and hugged Naruto. But I want you to do one thing for me, okay? Train and eat well. Yeah, I will. Bachan. As Sonata said, you can stop calling me Kachan from now on, kid. Wait, what? I'm adopting you, Naruto. Sign here and you can call me Kachan. And you'll be my Musuko. As Naruto was taken aback by that. As Naruto then hugged Sonata and cried, Thank you so much, Kachan. As Shizune was also happy, and so was Kyuubi, who smiled while sleeping in Naruto's stomach. As Naruto signed the paperwork, and after that, they spent the night, well, together celebrating, and after that, Naruto next day left, being said goodbye to his mother as well as his family now, as well as his friends, and to his village. He left with Jiraiya. Time skip. Two years later, it has been two years since they were on their journey, and Naruto has learned many things and proven to Jiraiya that he was much more of a prodigy than his father. He was able to advance the Hiroshin technique and could transport from one village to another. Just by imagining it, he was himself acting as a martyr to jump from time space from one location to another. He can take many people with him as well. As Aside from that, Naruto has added eight, four elements to the chakra nature. Kyuubi's hellfire as well as simple fire and earth as well as air. These four chakra natures were added to the Rasengan to complete it. 
as Naruto was still training in the Sage mode because it was taking time this time around and he was able to reach until up to the uncomplete Sage mode and could match Rai with strength and the Toad Katas. As we see him still balancing on the top of a cliff with a single board as he finally entered the Sage mode. Perfect Naruto. As Naruto opened his eyes. Whoa, I feel, yes I know. Congratulations Naruto, you have entered the perfect Sage mode. As Naruto has grown lean and quite athletic as well, he was buff because he was eating regularly and has grown tall as well. He was now at the age of 14 as Naruto jumped down and landed su successfully without a scratch. Whoa! Usually I would get hurt a little bit but it doesn't hurt as Naruto then lifted up the huge cliff and threw it with his brute strength. Whoa, this is the strength of the... Yes, bye bye. This is the strength of the perfect sage ward, said Fukusaka. Hmm, your son is gonna get jealous. Who you say is going to get jealous, Brad? Whoa, no way, your son, you are able to become a complete sage as well. Congratulations. Well, let's test this out. As Jirai's sage mode was silver with toad linings. As Naruto and Jirai got into fighting stance, as they begin to battle out, Naruto and Jiraiya traded blows and parried each other's attack. And Naruto and Jiraiya then charged with Rasengan, Oil Toad Rasen Odama Rasengan. As a huge Oil Toad flamed, Odama Rasengan was coming towards Naruto. Odama Rasengan, Earth style. As Earth Spear turned into blades, started to revolve around the Rasengan and into a cutting manner. As it cut through Jiraiya's Rasengan and both of them exploded and flew back as both of them landed as they were pending heavily. Damn Brad, <laughs> I gotta give you that. You have become strong Naruto. Stronger than your father and I could ever imagine you to be. Told ya, as Naruto vanished. But, you forgot, I have some other issues of my technique and sleeve. Kunai runned in as many many kunais were dashed towards Jiraiya as this turned into Naruto. Rasengan Barrage, as huge Rasengans were dashed at Jiraiya, as Jiraiya was now on the ground. And his Rasing uh, is I mean, Sage Mode was off, as Naruto landed there. Ha! Told you, Rasanin, I could whoop your ass now. Well, Brad, you could. But this, Jiraiya said, is the technique I promised, my ultimate secret technique. What kind of technique is that? Oh, this, we're not training it here. This is what you train in the final year, Naruto. You have completed your training here, but this is a bonus. As it was a blank book, which was sealed with many seals, you will unlock this book within a day and complete it by the time the training schedule ends and you will become the ultimate man of culture and shinobi. Huh, okay. As Naruto and Jira said goodbye to the Toad's Mountain, Miyaboku, and left on one of the year of their journey, Traveling from village to village, meeting new faces. As Naruto was so much absorbed into that book and training that he completed it within, within two months and put the rest of the months to test, as whatever he tried worked successfully. Time skip one year later. We see Naruto returning back after three years of training trip with Jiraiya back to the village. As he entered the village. Hmm. Well, what, guess what, Jiraiya, Sensei? We're finally back, and the village is quite the same. They only added Kachan's head there. Got that right, Brad. Heh. <laughs> Talk about yourself, old man. I'm not a Brad dad my, myself. I'm almost at the same height as you. Yeah, but you're still a Brad to me, Naruto. <laughs> yeah, yeah, whatever. You're still just jealous that I scored that woman and you couldn't. <sighs> Don't remind me. That was the ultimate technique to turn you into a pervert. I didn't want it to make you into a lady killer. But heh, I guess that works as well. My perfect student, the ideal student that I have been trying to create, is finally here. Naruto, the lady killer. So Jiraiya, wait, what? You wrote a book on me? And it's the top seller, Naruto. See? As when Naruto entered there, he had a book in his hand as he was reading them. Hmm, nice story, Jiraiya. Why are you spying on me so much? Whenever I'm on a date or so. Because you are the ultimate lady killer Naruto, you leave women wanting you more because you're a true gentleman that we perverts cannot become. You're not a pervert or a closet pervert, at the same time you're way too open. <sighs> I don't get it what you're trying to say Jiraiya, I'm just being nice to the ladies. 
I added on my own to your book, which you call Secret Trading. And not only that, I don't have sex with them, mindless sex. I only had with those who were in need of some cooling down as as well as need of someone. Yeah, and how many was that? Uh, 50 or 60? Damn it, you're getting way more than me. And I'm the ultimate pervert here. Yeah, super pervert. As then Sakura gasped and Naruto turned around. Wait, no way. Sakura? Is that you? N- N- Naruto. Naruto, you're back. She said as she dashed towards Naruto and gave him a hug as Naruto twirled her around in mid-hair. As then she landed on her feet as Naruto hugged her close. Wow, you've grown up pretty Sakura, huh? Y- y- you're handsome as well, Naruto. <laughs> I know, I get that a lot. Well, where are you going? Oh, I was bringing this to Sonata Shisho. Really? Shisho, huh? Meaning Kachan became your sensei. Yeah, she did. Well, I guess we gotta find out how your training went. Yeah, about that, Naruto. We'd rather go towards Sonata first. Yeah, I kinda wanna meet her. As the three of them went towards there and Sonata was shocked to see Naruto. As well as so was Shizune, who was literally biting her lip after seeing Naruto. Oh, hey, Shizune, chan. Why are you sweating so much? Are you okay? Naruto said. Yeah, it's just that it's getting hot in here. Whew, you know, it is summer, right? Yeah, I guess it is. You should cool down. As Sonata frowned. Naruto, why don't you go and enjoy some Michiraku time, okay? Well, I have to talk to Jura. Okay, as Naruto left. Come on, Sakura. Oh, Sakura. But you go with Naruto to keep him company. What the hell is wrong with you, Jiraiya? What did you do to him? <laughs> Jiraiya, I'm asking you a question. <laughs> Aye, Jiraiya said. Jiraiya, the toad son in. As he put one feet on Naruto's table. As his both hands were up. As he was laughing like a maniac, have created my ideal student. As both of them were shocked, you turned him into a pervert. Sonata said, as her eyes were covered with darkness, No, he's a true lady killer, Sonata. This is his log. He doesn't have mindless sex like I do. He doesn't go after the B and the B. He just go after those ladies who are in desperate need. And not only that, they keep wanting him more. What the hell have you done, Jiraiya? What the hell is wrong with you? When was this training completed? One year ago. Oh my god. Which means you, it gave you one year to turn him into that? He's not that bad, Sonate. He's okay. I mean, you gotta see the kid works. See, where's Sonate's orb? Ah, uh, there it is. As the orb was covered with dust, as Jiraiya put it on the table, as Shizune and Sonate washed. Wash! As they saw Naruto sitting in Ichiraku's stand as every woman was looking at him, as so was Sakura. Are you not going to eat that, Sakura? Oh man, did I miss this? As suddenly Ino came in. Hey Sakura, who's this hottie? Oh hey Ino-chan, it's so nice to meet you again. How's Shikamaru and Choji? Wait, Naruto? Yeah, it's me, I'm back. <laughs> Good to see you back, Naruto. So, are you going to bring back Satsuki or what? Yeah, we're going to do that. As Naruto and Sakura looked down, as Sakura then need, I mean, elbowed Ino into the stomach, as Ino oomphed. What the hell is wrong with you, forehead? You, you bimbo, how could you say that? You forgot what happened? Yeah, it's alright, Sakura, you don't need to whisper. It's fine, we'll bring her back in no time. As we go towards Otogakure, as Sasuke Uchiha, was wearing her usual clothes as she was now fighting against all Oto's four as well as Karin and Suigetsu as Nar as Satsuki beat them all and Mustang. Wonderful Satsuki chan, you have far exceeded my expectations, said Orochimaru of the Sanin as she stepped down. Yes, she Hmm if I'm ready then I go can I go and kill Itachi. Now, now, now is not the time. You see, my foolish idiot of us two, uh, I mean, sh- friend or past friend has written a book about your loved interest. And I gotta say, he turned into a fine specimen, that one. What do you mean? As a picture of Naruto was shown, 
into the end of the book. You see this? Tales of Naruto, the lady killer. What kind of training did he do? As Satsuki was, for whatever reason, angry, that Naruto turned into a womanizer after she left. I have to set him straight after I'm done with Tachi. If he doesn't listen, I'll kill him and die myself later on. As Orochimaru had other plans. Hmm, he is a fine specimen as she licked her lips in the snake-like tongue. I guess I gotta go fetch that one for myself. But Sasuke over here also wants him. Oh well, I guess I don't mind sharing. And plus, we do need Uzumaki's here. And Karin is also a woman. <laughs> a full Uzumaki. That will boost my village strength. And becoming a mother. Well, I guess I can scratch that off my list soon. As on either side of Akatsuki's base, we go there to see that Zetsu arose from the ground as the whole Karski was gathered there. Teidara, Sasori, Hidan, Kakazu, Tobi, Itachi, Kisame, as well as Bots of Pain, Pain the fake leader, as well as Konan, as Zetsu arrived. Zetsu, what news do you have? I have the news that Naruto Uzumaki has returned with three years worth of training trip with Jiraiya. But something interesting is going on. It seems that Naruto has been doing on some other adventures. What kind of? As the book was thrown, oh, I have that book. He then said, huh, the kid is a player. And I kind of picked up some few sacrifices the way he did. Thanks to those tips. Really? Yeah, it worked. Huh, I guess we gotta go find some ladies for ourselves, huh, Sasori, my man? Shut up, Deidara. I'm only interested in my art, not this stuff. Hmm, whatever you say. Oh, my. Oh dear, said Conan as she flipped the last page. As Payne watched this, hmm, <clears throat> put the book down, please. Conan, oh, um, I'm sorry. Hmm, I guess he kind of had his charm, huh? To every lady. What do you think, Itachi? What do you think your sister will do now to her lover boy? But she finds out that after she literally killed him, this is the kind of payment she got back. I do not know. What the hell is wrong with Jiraiya? Why would he turn Naruto into that? I wanted him to save my sister from hatred, darkness that will consume her soul sooner or later when she kills me. And he turning him into a pervert? Just what I needed now. Fuck my life, man. Where did I go wrong? I was such a prodigy and nice student. And the star of the Uchiha clan. Then everything went downhill because of downs of that bastard and everything else. Now, I'm stuck here with these baboons. Well, me and Kasame are going. We have to spy on our target now. Good. You may proceed. As we go towards Konha, to see that Naruto and Sakura was now going towards the training ground 7 where Ino said before leaving that she will gather everyone. As Naruto turned around and Nelly to see a girl hiding behind Nelly. As Naruto disappeared and arrived behind her. What are you looking at? Inata chan As Inata eaved and turned around. As she was now complete red. Don't pass out please. Uh, okay Naruto kun. What do you want? This. As Naruto hugged her. I missed you too Hinata. But you have. You don't have to be so scared and embarrassed to talk to me. I'm me. Naruto remember? Yes. I. I remember. You're. You're Naruto. As after that, Hinata and Naruto smiled as Sakura said, Are you gonna stare at each other or are we gonna go, Naruto? <laughs> Jeez, Sakura. Come on, let's go, Hinata. As Naruto then said, Oh, guys, wait. I gotta go and grab some bowl of ramen for me. As both Hinata and Sakura were left there. I know what you're trying to do, Hinata. Not cool. What do you mean? <sighs> you're trying to hog over him. But, but, yeah, I know. But you know that what we had an agreement before right before after he left i know but but i was scared and he noticed i didn't knew he would i guess i was overthinking for a bit Hinata. you know me satsuki and you have huge crush on naruto and we do love him dearly and we would never ever try to hurt him and we had an agreement that none of us will hog over him but satsuki left and we are going to get her back because before she left she told me to watch over for Naruto for her and 
to keep our promise that we made in the academy and keep the fact hidden that we were best of friends. Oh, okay. So she's going to come back, right? Why didn't you tell me this before? I forgot. Okay. I was just so sad that after he left and she left that I was left alone and you were busy on your missions after Kiba and, well, she never recovered and I didn't want to bother you. I see. You never would bother me, Sakura. You're my best friend, as was Sasuke. We'll all get her back. Yeah, we all will. As after that, Nard arrived. Okay, guys, let's go meet our gang. As after that, they arrived at training ground 7 to see that everyone was there. And so was the senseis. Hmm. Well, Naruto, I heard that from Sonata, so my dress, and I will find you here. Yeah, what do you need, Kagashi sensei? Well, first of all, I would like an autograph, Corin I said, with Uncle. Uh, why? Because of this book. Wait, you read that book? I'm, I promise I'm not a pervert. We know. After reading your tales, you're more like a Prince Charming than a pervert. <laughs> uh, I get that a lot. But I'm not, really. It's just me, Naruto. As after Naruto signed the book, Kurenaiden said, Okay then. Let's begin the test, shall we, Kakashi? What test? Naruto, you are against all of us. Wait, all of you? But Sensei. Neji said, isn't it kind of a disadvantage to Naruto? He's much more than you think. Naruto, no fake it. Show them your real strength. Alright. As all of them were on sidelines, as all of the Jonians were there now. As Naruto suddenly was engulfed with golden lightning, as his eyes changed in orange pigments as well. Whoa, what is that? As Naruto disappeared in the yellow bright flash and appeared behind Guy and kicked him, sending him towards a huge mountain as Kai was there now, framed into it as there were huge cracks. Whoa, take about, talk about that kick. Such force, Lee said. As everyone was shocked, as then Naruto moved on to Kurenai. You can't put Genjutsu on me. As Naruto, with his QB eyes, put a huge Genjutsu on Kurenai. As QB was now literally glaring down at Kurenai, just inches away. As Kurenai passed out due to the shock, don't worry, everyone, she's okay. I just cast her Genjutsu. As Asuma sighed, and so did her students. As Asuma and everyone else came at Naruto as one, Kai, Asuma, as well as Kakashi, as Naruto was fighting all of them. Flash! As Naruto disappeared. What do you mean, Flash Naruto? Isn't it Harishin? Yeah. I call it Flash now because I can literally disappear in a bunch of flashes. See, as Naruto disappeared in front of everyone, again and again and again and again and appeared in different locations. And then suddenly Asuma was stomped towards the ground as Naruto jumped from behind his back and launched himself into the air. Rasengans! As eight miniature Rasengans were launched towards everyone as they dropped like bombs and literally destroyed the ground. Damn, talk about troublesome blood. How did he get so strong? Anyway, we do not know, but he is quite strong. Don't you all think? Yeah. So after that, Naruto beat the crap out of them and then healed them all. <laughs> so what do you guys think? You passed Naruto. You are literally joining material right now. You just pummeled the ground with us all, Kakashi said. Here is a book for you, Sensei. Or oh, here is Sunny wrote this. Icha Icha, volume 14, the unreleased version, Naruto, and it's a deluxe edition. Thank you so much. You really are a true student and man of culture. <laughs> I get that a lot, Sensei. Here you go. As after that, Naruto and the gang were now going to the Choji's Akamichi's barbecue where they were going to celebrate until Kazekage's news were heard. As Naruto and his team was to start towards Kazekage to rescue Gara. As they arrived there and they knew that they and Sasori took him and they chased both of them down and beat the crap out of Sasori who was killed by Chiho and Gara, well, died. And Chiyo sacrificed her life to bring him back, as the Shikaku was lost. As Kyubi was in rage, we should go after them. The Idara is still out there, Naruto. But where? His traces are gone. Grandma, I can't sense it with Seishmo, damn it. We should wait. The next one is in Kumo, right? Matatabe. Yeah, the two tails, right? Yes, we have to go there. Because one of the Karski members will be there, or a group of two. As Naruto then said, are you sure about this? We will be, well, you know, sabotaging the orders and the mission. The mission is safe and successful. Kazekage is safe, but I have to go back to report Kiribi. As Kakashi then said, Naruto, you're coming or what? 
Sensei, what is it, Naruto? I have to go. What do you mean, Naruto? Where do you want to go? As everyone was there now. For Sasuke, no, Naruto? Why are you not going back to your village? Kakashi said, I have to go rescue the other Jinchurikis. Something big is going to happen, and I'm going to get to the bottom of it. We all will, Naruto, but not like this. Okay, Sensei, I'll listen. But I gotta request a uh, leave for Bachan. If he doesn't give me, I have to leave on my own. Because the more longer I wait, the longer it is danger for the rest of us. Rest of us? What do you mean? Us Jinjurigis and you all. Shinobis, in general. As Naruto said, hold on everyone. As everyone patted on Naruto's shoulder and the person behind Naruto. As all of them disappeared and arrived in Sunagakure. As they all said towards Naruto and Gara to cheer up for them. Thank you, Naruto. No worries, Kara, but I have to go rescue others. I apologize for leaving as fast as I arrived. Thank you, my friend. But I know you're in a hurry, so I won't stop you. Next time, you better. <laughs> I'll take that offer up on you, Gara. As after that, Naruto, Kakashi, and Sakura left with the yellow flash. What kind of technique is that? Is it some sort of advanced yellow flash? The other elder said, Yes, he is the son of Minato no Mikaze. He told me on the way, as everyone gasped. The son of the yellow flash. And he has advanced a technique that almost killed thousands of Iba shinobis. Now they were even more scared from Konoha. And so could be Iba. As Naruto arrived back and explained everything to Sinari. No, Naruto. It is dangerous. But we can go. Me and Erosan can. You can all prepare. For what? Akatsuki. They are gathering nine tail beaches as Naruto was taken over by QB. Don't tell the kid. I'm taking over. They are going to plan to revive the ten tails. What? But it is only a myth, Jura said. It is not. You call us the mindless drones beast, right? Then think what will happen to a being that is right, which we call mindless. As everyone now was fearing. It's no joke. The person who becomes a Shinchuriki is going to revive Kaguya. My father, Hagoromo Suzuki, told me himself. You mean you're the son of the sage? Yes. I was a part of Jubi and so was the rest of the Bijus, but we were separated, Jiraiya, into our own consciousness, giving us these forms that we have. But then why were you considered? Because you humans labeled us as such. We were never like that from the get-go. Oh, I apologize on their behalf, Jiraiya said. Don't be. Then, yes, we have to leave. Me and Naruto has to go there to rescue them. The longer we wait, the longer there is a chance that... They will get successful in their mission. Yes, that is why we're asking you, Jiraiya, and your help. Because with your help and Sage Mord, and with us combined, we can take down everyone. While Konoha can prepare a prop for them, the Karski member who will come here. I'm sure about that. As on the other side, Orochimaru's spies heard this and returned the news back alongside the video recording of Naruto. Oh my, said Orochimaru and Satsuki were there. He is strong, a technique that is far advanced than the yellow flash. <laughs> he has surpassed Minatakun, and not only that, he has a level head, and he's on good terms with QB. He has gotten strong. As Oski was shocked, Naruto has grown stronger. Even though he was a pervert, but he was strong. He has the boasting to back it up, and the skills. As Naruto arrived, as we see him, to Kumogakure. As the Kumo Shinobis that took them to the Ka Rai Kage, A, as B and Yujito were there. Your life is in danger, said Naruto to Yujito and B. Hmm. We can take care of Virgin Jorikis as QB took over Naruto, as Matatabe and everyone else was alerted, as they took over their Jinchurikis. QB, Kurama, what are you doing? Are you out of your mind? Let the kid talk. He was going to explain them. This idiot won't listen to me. What, QB? Wait, you're Gyuki Matatabe here. So, what is going on exactly? Can anyone tell me? Said A. The Karski. They're planning to revive the Ten Tails. As QB explained the whole thing, as Matatabe and Yuki were shocked and agreed with everything that QB has said. So, you're agreeing with this? Yes. We are sure that they are going to revive him. Otherwise, there is no reason. But you said that Renegon user is required. Madara Uchiha had the Renegon when I fought him last time. 
after he survived his clash with Hashirama Senji. Wait, he did? Yes, he is still alive out there thanks to that dojutsu. Shit, the Rinnegan has the ability to give his user immortality if he wishes to be. Oh no, then we're in danger. A grave one at that. Yes, and we need your cooperation. Because uh, suddenly there was an explosion. Shit, they're here. We gotta prepare for them for a surprise. As it was Hidan and Kakazu. And they were beating the crap out of this. Surprise, motherfucker, said Naruto. As he jumped down, alongside with Matatabe, Shikaku fired. I mean, Matatabe and Gyuki fired B and Yujito. As the three Bijus tackled them. Alongside the A and many other gentry. Shit, it's an ambush. We were scouted out and out and they were waiting for us as they were now tied down and tortured for two days to get information. Hidan who was an immortal couldn't die blurted out the information because he was tired. As Naruto with the help of Kyuubi burned his soul alongside with Kakazu. The immortals were gone. We're going to Amagakure. You're not going alone kid, he said. We have to call for Ka Kage Summit. We gotta trap them there and kill them. As Naruto and the rest of the gang then started to walk out, damn, I used way too much chakra. We have to walk back. I can't use that technique now. I need some time. It's alright, Naruto, said Jiraiya. As after Naruto left, Yujito was blushing, as Naruto was kind of nice to her. Wait, Yugi-chan, what the happened to you, fool? You're acting like a fool, ya fool. Shut up, Bisama. She's in love, Jiraiya, you damn idiot. Let her be. With Jiraiya? Ew, that's gay. No, the blonde. Oh, uh, oh, I see. Sorry, Yuki. Ah, <sighs> fuck my life. What do you mean by that? I'm stuck with a knucklehead. That's why I said those words. Oh, okay. As after that, when they were returning, they encountered Orochimaru and her student, Satsuki Uchiha. Well, 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 Satsuki-chan, look who it is. Naruto, Kun, and Jiraiya. Orochimaru, I'm going to take you down now. I'd like to see you do that, Jiraiya. And you as well, Naruto-kun. As both of them clashed together, as Sasuke was going all out on Naruto, as they were separated, as Sasuke said, You cheated on me. Wait, what? What do you mean I cheated on you? This is the first thing you say to me after we meet, like what, three years? You literally tried to kill me. I apologize for that. When? When I was dying? Look, I'm sorry, Naruto, but you cheated on me, and for that I now must kill you, and then I will kill myself. What about your revenge? Fuck revenge! Oh, wait, I didn't cheat it on you. Okay, I'll listen. As Naruto explained her the whole scenario, oh, I see, but you still slept around. I didn't do that multiple times, it was only because I was drugged either way or... <sighs> I see, you're not lying. I will forgive you this once. If you cheated on me again, I will cut your thing down there and make you suffer before killing you and killing myself. I, I understand, ma'am. As then she apologized for what she did and kissed Naruto. As on the other side, Jiraiya and Orochimaru, well, they were kissing as well. You know how long I waited for this, Jiraiya. Hmm, to tie you down like this, you damn woman. Hmm, the reason I left and did what I did was to make you fall in love with me, and I have perfectly created a love portion. Now, you must become mine. As she licked her lips, wait, you, you weren't you grinning for Naruto? Hmm, I know you had a spy in my base. No, it was to let you never know my next move, Jiraiya. My main goal has always been you, and now I have found it. <laughs> no, no, no! As when they arrived out, come on kids, we're leaving. Orochimaru said, wait, what? As Jira was crying, as he was tired and he had a finger, I mean a ring on his finger. Uh, as he said, I'm no longer a king of perverts. I'm a married man now, Naruto. What do you mean? This perverted idiot promised me that he will marry me. Wait, what? What is going on here? Ah, long story short, I kind of we kind of liked each other, and he turned into a pervert, and he was not that much of a man to propose to me, and I got mad and did some stuff to make him fall in love with me, which turned into legal illegal experiments, and my journey to become immortal began. And well, yeah, short story short, we kind of fall apart, but I still loved him, and he does to me. Yes, I do, but not like this. What do you mean, Jiraiya? 
as Jira was not shocked, as Naruto was taken aback by that. What is that? That is a taser ring. Whenever he betrays me or does something that hurts me, you will tase him. I'm sorry, okay? Can I have that one as well, Hiroshima-sama? Sasuke said, no, I promise I wouldn't. Just in case. Right, I'll make one. As then, Orochimaru with Jiraiya and everyone returned. So you finally got, her, got him straight, huh, Orochi? Yeah, I did, Sonari. Wait, Kachan, you knew? Yeah, everyone knew. Why Orochimaru left? We just made a story that she's a traitor. It was all a story, thanks to Jir uh, just to make Jiraiya come back. What? You all betrayed me. How could you do that? Even Sensei was in on this. Then what about the illegal experiments? Oh, they, they were, well, puppets. All puppets. I wouldn't harm anyone, you know that. Yeah, I did kind of experiment with some humans, but they were only traitors and those who were infiltrating our village. I see. I was still doing Konoha's work, then why did you perform Konoha Crush? It was to let everyone know that Suna was against us. I see. And to make everyone aware of the Akatsuki. I lured them here, thinking that I was going to invade, which gave you an opening to investigate about them and figure out what they were after. Wait, it was, yes, my idea, you dumb idiot, then sensei. Ah, <sighs> well, we kind of heated up in fighting and he ended up using that. He said that he has no other choice, I tried to stop him, but that old fool would listen. I see. And from the wounds, I can say that much that the wounds were not harmful. He used the, well, technique of that, Hakai Fuyin, to kill himself. And that was to take many souls of the Suna Shinobis down to help with him. Ah, so it wasn't trying to kill you? Nope, he wasn't. Well, I guess now we figured out what happened all those years ago. As so after that, we go towards the Gotsky base. What? They were all killed off? Just like that? Yes, they were. Shit, we have to go and and take them down then by ourselves. We're going towards Konoha. As they all arrived there, Renard and everyone was there. As suddenly Shinra Tensei was launched, but Naruto's barrier protected them. As the battle commenced, I knew you would be here, Pain. Now I'll raise your pain by wishing you. And hence the flash. I mean, the blasted battle began between the Jinchuriki Nine Tails form as well as the Sage form combined and the boss of pain and everyone else there. It was just a group of people against a whole blown ass Shinobi village and they lost. The village won. And after that, the Kage summit was called and the Karski were executed, as were all Kage's five wishes. And they let go of their hatred and started anew, as Naruto suggested, with his Takno Jutsu. And at the end of the day, he had to marry both, well, let's just say, Hinata as well as Sakura as well, because Sasuke was already engaged with that ring of his, the electric ring. As Sai was found out and he was now living with Ino to cure him, as Sasuke was able to kill Danza, who was the original perpetrator, as Itachi was redeemed and the whole village was safe. And this was the story of Naruto. As this is where I'm going to be leaving the story of guys, I hope you like this one and if you do then please leave a like and subscribe to my channel if you like the content of this channel as this is Apollo Uchiha and I'm signing out. Peace.